If you give a mouse a cookie, they're going to ask for milk. And then when, then when you give them some milk, they're going to ask for like a blanket. Then you give them a blanket, they're going to ask for this, ask for that. Not saying that you will, but someone will be like, will you let her do it? I want to do it. You know what I mean? I don't want to, I don't want to, you never ask for anything. You've literally asked me all kinds of questions about doing stuff in the server since yesterday. I just, I just don't want to make it to where all of a sudden everybody's modding all their client side stuff and they're doing all this crazy stuff that other people can't do. Like if you, if you want to do like, here, here's my thing, Lainey. And this is, this is me being 100% genuine with you. If you want to have stores in the server where you can sell things for diamonds, if I allow client side mods, everybody who can will x-ray and have all the diamonds in the world and your store will be completely useless. Will, they, will there be proximity voice chat? There's a discord that you can join Miss Chrislin that you're already a part of. That's valid. So I, I gotta, I gotta, there's gotta be a limit. You know what I mean? Here, here's what I'm going to tell you, and I shouldn't say this out loud, but I'm going to say it anyways. Don't tell me you're going to use something like that. Okay. But also try to keep the spirit of the server alive at the same time. Miss Chrislin, I'm not, I don't, I'm not paying a lot of money for a very big server. I don't want to load it up full of crap. And bloat it up for no reason. Uh, and give a lot of bloat to players who don't want it. I want to try and keep it as basic as possible. And then utilize other tools. You're not going to take over the world. I, I, I know you're not. But you get what I'm trying to say though, right? There's a, there's a million mods for Minecraft. I... I Coming up to me and asking me if you can use a mod one at a time. You know, where do I draw the line? What do I say? How do you want me to answer? Do you want me to just give you free reign? You know, there's 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 a give and take. And I feel like if I give way too much, I'm not going to be able to pull back. Let me get things situated first and then we'll cross those bridges, okay? Because it's going to be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I didn't forget it. I, I was going to start saying it, but then I wanted to follow up. Uh, Racing Kid, for New Year's, set fire to your house and uh, drink soda while eating Pop Rocks. That way you can see a fire and hear it at the same time. It'll be, it'll be a homegrown fireworks display that you can enjoy, you know, once a year. Something like that, Blazing. Oh, my am. Hope you're having a good day, bud. Welcome in. But yeah, that's that's my whole thing, Lainey. Let's just let's cross that bridge when we get to it. I don't want to give you a bunch of yeses and then have everybody be like, well, you gave her a bunch of yeses. All right, so we got this thing flat. I want to step it down on the edges, at least over here on this side. And uh, then we'll be ready to, to move stuff in. Lunch for a minute, only a minute. To find fl fl pink flamingos all over your yard there, too. Awesome. Uh, Ben. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, please hold. Ben, you should schedule a, co a cross-country drive where you go from one side to the other, only stopping for fuel, but... You have to use a different car in each state. So you got to get Grand Theft Auto style. You can't rent cars. Good luck. Let me know how it goes. All right, let's go this way. Oh, is it your birthday, Rob? I didn't read the B-Day part. I just, I just saw Milestone Day. Is it a swinging bridge? I'm scared of those. Is yes, it is a swinging bridge. 
That's why I said we'll cross it when we get to it. <laughs> Sounds fun. Well, Ben, good luck, dude. Let me know how it goes. Rob, is today your birthday? Or there's a dragon, though, and the dragon burns the bridge. Well, then I guess you can't put anything in Because you can't run any client-side mods then, huh? <clears throat> You're officially old today. All right, guys, we got to wish Rob a happy birthday. So if you guys want to join me here, let's do this. <clears throat> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Rob. Happy birthday to you. What's up, Fallout? Welcome in. Rob, I hope you have a great rest of your day, man. Thanks for choosing to come in here during your birthday. And many more. See, I don't do that. I never did that when I was a kid when other people had birthdays. We always used to sing a different version of the happy birthday song when I was younger. It was, happy birthday to you. You live in a zoo. You look like a monkey and smell like one too. But you can't sing that to strangers because then they're going to think you're, you're, being, you're talking bad to them. So I can't do that as much as I would love to. Madagascar, what? Yes, I can. I mean, I can. That's not very nice. Uh, yeah, don't do what you just did in my chat. That would be my number one tip. They seen that in Madagascar. Oh, Lainey, I'm older than Madagascar the movie. I'm, I hate to break this news to you. It might come to a shock. But, um... Yeah, well, I'm talking like 30 years ago we were singing that. <laughs> so am I. SMH, my head. Blazing, it's okay, dude. It was, it was not needed. <clears throat> I just know things. Hey, you're super smart. You know that, right? I've never not said that you were or you weren't. So keep kicking ass and taking names. You got some super fast mods? That was me, Blazing. I, you, I got some super fast me. <laughs> I've, been, I've been doing this for four years, dude. I put chat first, game second. I mean it. I put chat first. As much as I can, you guys, you guys are the first things I read. Hi, me. What's up, buddy? Welcome in. Today's impromptu date day. Well, awesome, babe. Have fun. Fishing for a name tag takes forever. It does. Why do you need a name tag, Miss Chrislin? The mods here are awesome. I mean, when they're here, yeah. Just got a saddle. I've never actually been happy to get a saddle. <laughs> Making an iron farm. Can't get the zombie to pick up anything. I gotcha. Well, good luck. You're right here. Wait, what? <laughs> Laney. <clears throat> it's time to find a pig. You're not putting a saddle on me, Rob. I'm not that easily. Not that easy, friend. You at least gotta buy me some food first. All right, so we got that side of the wall figured out. Stepped down appropriately. Now we gotta get this side stepped down appropriately. Called John Wick for the very first time last night. What do you say? I think that Rob is referring to you could ride a pig using a carrot. Thanks, Mew, for stealing my joke that I was trying to make. 
I was trying to be funny, Mew. You'll get there, Mew. Give it a second. Oh yeah, Lainey? No, core, I haven't. I don't I don't watch TikTok for my Minecraft uh, advice. He said to not eat the red pill. Yeah, right. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Love you, Mew. Don't ever change, buddy. You're appreciated. Always remember that. I don't know what that means, Core. Did that plant just attack you? These berries cause damage when you walk over them. Fun fact. Core, I don't I don't TikTok, dude. Not enough to know what you're talking about. I don't know what 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 an FYP is. Or anything like that. Sorry. <laughs> Blazing. <laughs> you know you can buy emos with channel points. It's like 70 points and you get it for 24 hours. F-Y-E. Don't you mean that, Rob? For your entertainment? The store that was in the mall where you can go listen to CDs and stuff? Oh, find them cannibals. <laughs> Man, we're all all over the place, huh? Knowing how life is outside the matrix, I'm sorry, but I choose to live inside. I don't have my freedom, but looking for food living under the ground. <laughs> Believe it. Oh, I got you, Bacor. Thank you for your thank you for the enlightenment. Funny young puppies, sure. PYT. <laughs> Yo, shouty, you're a PYT. <laughs> I haven't heard that in years. Oh, man. All right, how far out are we going? We gotta cut this thing down. Wait. Yeah, we're cutting it down. I think I made the block too big by coming out here. But I guess it's fine. Mew, that sounds really bad out of context. All right, so we're gonna come one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's one, two, Three, four, five, six. Oh my god. We got a long ways to go here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, this is the extent of the outward stairwell. We're not done. Still got a little while to go. Okay, Mew. That's fine. Keep your innocent mind, my friend. Keep your innocent mind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is 
Is this an acoustic cover channel? Uh, there's some acoustics, yeah. Bye, Mew. Enjoy your lurk, buddy. I'll see you soon. Have fun on your date tonight. Did I see the storage vault? I... <sighs> Yeah, but I, I'm confused as to his logic on it. I tried asking him about it, but he didn't read my messages. Well, it's not so much the size. He told me he was using barrels because chests would be super laggy. But because he's using barrels, he's using like four times as many hoppers. And hoppers are more laggy than chests are. So I think he's just setting himself up for an entire lag fest anyways. And there's somebody who has recently found his channel who's banned in hours who was 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 talking to them last night while I was trying to ask questions and they kept like cutting me off saying, "Oh, don't worry, he knows what he's doing. He's going to make it right." And it's like, "You're you're new here. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about." But I couldn't tell them that because I didn't want to be rude in Boz's channel. Have you ever seen Hermit Crab? No. You've asked me that before. But no, I saw it uh, blazing. It's just, it's just, it's confusing because he can use a couple extra chests and like one third the amount of hoppers and still accomplish what he's going after. Yes, you have, Core. It's okay though, but no, I, I don't watch Hermit Crab. Not only do I have a memory like an elephant, but I'm also built like one. Guess you live and learn. I just, I, I mean, this is, he, he was a speed runner blazing and this is his like first time playing hardcore and stuff. So he's still learning. Chat's teaching him most of the stuff he's picking up along the way. He'll figure it out. Those when the, when he gets that thing running, those hoppers are gonna run his complete his computer completely out. He's not gonna know what to do. <laughs> Alright, let me get some more dirt before I end up being out and gonna fly over somehow. But yeah, I mean we we had a storage that was larger than that once upon a time, Blazing. Check it out. We have we have screenshot archives here. Um, so what I did was we built a super storage in an older world. Here's what one of the hallways looked like before we covered it up. But, um, we had six of these and each one was themed. So this one was building supplies and then we had one for magic items and everything else. And then in the middle we had a super smelter. And then here, here's all the hallways. You can see them here. And we built this underground. It was 200 blocks by 100 blocks and it was 15 blocks deep. So there was there was the um, the electricity room, and you can see how many chests we had in hoppers. We had thousands of hoppers. It was auto sorting and everything else. And we we might do this again if we ever come across it. But um, but yeah, we had this going once upon a time. That was that was one of our larger builds that we did. What happened to that world? I died. I died to a hog to a um piglin brute. I was rushing gold. We needed gold for something, and I was rushing a, um, a bastion. We had already gotten gold from one bastion earlier in the day, and this was the second bastion. And I got cocky and turned a corner, and a, and a piglin brute saw me. And I, I had opportunities to stop him from coming after me, but I got cocky and thought I could kill him, and I died. And it was frustrating. That was, that was in the world that had this blazing. Check it out. That world had this mountain right here. And we were building the storage underneath the mountain and we were going to put a floating castle here. We had, we had cleared this whole thing out. Check it out. Let me, let me find a shot of it. Uh, right here. See right here? 
we we had the whole area kind of like cut out. We were going to put a castle wall through here. We ended up cutting this mountain right here down. Let's see if I can find the mountain. Right here, we cut the mountain down. And we ended up um, filling in a lot of where the water was. We were going to put a dock here. We are going to build a whole village here and everything else. But that was that was what we had going on. And that those two red blocks right there is the center of that. It was a 17 by 17 chunk area. And that was that was our kingdom that we were working on. And I ended up dying to a to a brute because I was stupid. Does the world get deleted? Uh it doesn't get deleted, but it doesn't also make sense to continue playing in it because it's not hardcore anymore. It turns into a regular world. There was no reason for me to work on it anymore, if that's what you were asking. Did I go back and get dirt? I didn't. I got caught up talking about stuff. You're tending crops and a thunderstorm started before I could drop a bed. Lightning struck and the three farmer villages near me all get turned into witches. Oh, wow. Well, don't knows you can load back in and play. But when you go to your statistics and it, you scroll down here to where it says um, time since last death. It'll be shorter than your time played. And that'll give it away that you're not in hardcore anymore. That's what you want to look at. That's how you know that someone's still playing in a... In a oh, don't close that. That's how you know someone's still playing in a legitimate hardcore world. I almost closed the whole thing. You know, just casually closing Minecraft. Nothing to see here, folks. Is that all the dirt I have left? All right, we'll make this work. If I can't do it all right now, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just using the extra dirt that we have to get ourselves ahead. <clears throat> Up and down. So yeah, I, I know what it's like to have a lot and lose it all. Yeah, blazing, but here's the thing about that though. Here's the thing about that. <clears throat> it doesn't matter at the end of the day. Because I can set up, I can, I can go AFK and have an auto clicker right clicking on my bed and I can pass a day every 10 minutes and in 24 hours I can pass 144 days and if I did that for a week that's over a thousand days so before I do anything all of a sudden I have a thousand day hardcore world does that make my world any better than anyone else's nope that's just used as a as a click clickbait kind of thing blazing anybody can farm days in their minecraft world so that's why i don't i don't i don't see a reason why that's a thing and and for a lot of people who try to justify hardcore worlds by using youtube video hardcore players you don't know that their worlds are 100 percent legit they're on youtube For all you know, they could have died a thousand times, but you have no way of knowing. They don't pull up their stats and show you what their stats say every video to make sure that they're still in hardcore. They could download a texture pack that makes their hearts look like that. And just be playing in normal mode the whole time. So there's, there's, a, there's a huge gray area, especially on YouTube... Which is why live streaming a hardcore world has a little more merit to it, in my opinion. Because you can actually see and, and witness what's going on in the world. 
But yeah, the number of number of days you've been alive don't have any bearing on anything. Minecraft days can be farmed. Yeah, right, Flavids? So yeah, the people who are getting people coming in and, and watching them because of their days in hardcore, more power to them. <clears throat> I don't I don't know a lot of YouTubers uh blazing. I, I don't know. <laughs> Flavids. That one comes up a lot, yeah. Yeah, go for it, Warner. Go for it. We'll pull it up on the on the stream and watch it. Here, I'll I'll watch this video with you guys. So this is this is when I died in the in the in that world that we were just talking about earlier. So so I'm digging in a bastion looking for gold. Okay, I'll, I'll walk you through my my thought process. I break this open. And I see a brute, okay? Now, at this time, I could have just put a block up and backed up, but I didn't. I waited for him to aggro, backed up, and said, you know what? Let's go. Now, notice an issue. I'm wearing an elytra and not a chest piece. So he comes after me and starts hitting me. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. We're here. Let's fight. Well, then I pop a totem. And I'm like, I've already hit him twice. I'm, I, I have to kill him before he kills me. And then I died. And I was mad. Because there was four different ways I could have gotten away from that. And I didn't do it. Hi, me, Jan. Welcome in. There was there were so many ways I could have prevented that. As soon as I saw that brute, I could have put a block up. So here's what I do. I put my pickaxe on one end and my block on the other end. That way I can switch with mouse wheel pretty quickly. So if I'm digging and I see something, I can just go poop and close it up. Why didn't I block it up? I don't know, Blazing. Because I got cocky. Because we had already killed a brute earlier that day. And I was like, you know what? I can kill another one. Let's go. I just got cocky, dude. Why wasn't I wearing my chest piece? You know, there's a there's a lot of questions that could have been asked in that video, but you know what? It happened. And that's what you learn from. So yeah, I can I can analyze every single one of my deaths and tell you what I did wrong. There have been some deaths that have been pure BS. I will I, out of every time I've died, I would say 10% is pure BS. And chat can back me up on that. But the other 90% is my fault. I did something stupid and I own up to it. But there, but there are some. There are some. <laughs> the trading hall death was complete BS. So there there are some that are that are just that are just RNG. 